Hey family, God bless you guys. Um, I have some exciting things I want to share with you guys. Uh, the Lord has revealed to me that we are in a new season. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So, I don't know about you guys, but I know I am definitely, I have, I have stepped into a new season. Um, as the Lord was revealing to me before, um, as I shared with you guys that he was, we were in a transition period, um, and he was training, um, he's training many of us on being teachers and shepherds and, um, you know, helping guide those lost sheep, um, and, you know, helping feed the sheep that are hungry and, um, he he revealed to me that that he has stepped many of us into a new season. So um 1 Corinthians 15:57 15, says, "But thanks be to God, he gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ." So God has transitioned us into a new season. God recently showed me a dream where I was shown a group of people, um, or, or rather, it was a group of 18-year-old senior year students of the class 2017. And then I had a dream of starting the first day at a new school. So I believe we have started a new season and a, it, this is a season of victory, a season of the crown. We have begun the transition into our inheritance. As I was telling you guys, the Lord was um, revealing to me in uh, of the past uh, of a past video, and um, but but of course there's there's still much to learn, and. Um, the Lord specified to me that I am a student teacher, so I'm still learning at the same time as, as being able to be used to, to teach these things that he's teaching me. But I am very, very excited to learn the things that he has in store for me, and I'm sure you guys are too. So, um... A recent dream that I had, um, I was I was at a new school, and it was the first day, and uh, all the students were assembled together, and um, and we had to say the pledge of allegiance. So, I believe this was referring to pledging allegiance to God, but um, we we had turned towards a flagpole, just like you raise your flag for God, and. Um, we said the, uh, the Pledge of Allegiance and, and then we, uh, had sat down for announcements. So this makes me understand, or I, I feel as though this is speaking more about being given assignments. So I had to use the bathroom really bad in this dream, which in real life I really had to use the bathroom, but I really had to use the bathroom, but, and I had asked to go. Um, use the bathroom, but one of the teachers, the faculty me members, had told me I had to wait until after the announcements were done. So I believe he was telling me he not to, not not to uh, miss miss a window, miss an opportunity um, while these assignments were being given, while these announcements, these instructions were being given, um, or you know if if I if I left at that moment, you know, I'd be distracted and, and I would miss out on instruction. I would miss out on, you know, on, you know, on God giving me a word on something, you know, a go ahead instruction or, you know, or my assignment. So he wanted me to wait. Um, I also feel as though this was referring to me not leaving, not waking up before this dream was over because there was so much more that the Lord wanted to um, reveal to me, to give me um, knowledge on. 
So, um, I had, again, I saw um, my friend Stephanie. And as I've said before, Stephanie represents uh, the crown. So, um, I saw Stephanie and I started talking to her uh, while these announcements were being given. And um, she started showing me a video of um, of the sports that the school had. And there was one activity called the Outer Court Basketball. It was called Outer Court Basketball. Um, and she had got really excited about it. And um, I saw in the video, it was like playing horse. So if, if you never played horse, pretty much one person um, shoots the ball, um, like does a trick or something, and then shoots the ball. And, and then the next person has to do exactly the way they did it um, or, you know, and, and vice versa. So... Um, the, in, in the video, we, we were, um, uh, one person would do a trick, then the next person had to, um, repeat it or do it better. And the object was to jump into a type of net that was floating in water, like a buoy. And there was this platform, um, not far from it that you ran and jumped off of to get into the buoy. Um, but you had to try to touch it as least as possible. And um, then I was standing on this large circular balance board. And I was um, balancing on it with Stephanie. And uh, we were we were balancing each other on this, this road um, as we were like rotating it um, using our hips. So... I know again this is guy um speaking to me about balance um as he's done before. So then I I happened to see Mike. I haven't seen Michael again and the others um there there were other guys uh there that I knew um and they were all talking about something. So um I had heard Mike say something about me and Stephanie being on this balance board. So I went over to them and um, then I had looked down at a piece of the board that I had. I had this, this board in my hand, like this cardboard or something like that. And I noticed um, there were drawings on it. So I looked at it like deeper um, and then I realized these were drawings I made when I was a child, like actual real drawings that I, I used to, um, cause I used to make these characters and the, these comic books and stuff like that. And, um, and, and I saw all these doodles were all over this, this board and they were all things that I had done when I was a kid. So, um, then I went to show everybody and they were all like, oh, wow, wow, that's cool. And um, then I realized I must have been here before. I must have been at this school before or, or been like somehow I had done done this before because these these drawings were from when I was a kid. So um, then the uh, first period class bell had rung and everybody left uh, to get to their classes. And um, I went to leave. But then I remember I had to put away my lunch. So, um, I went to put everything away and get, uh, my papers to go find my class. Um, and I had started walking. Then I heard someone call my name. So I, I, I took a step, a few steps back, um, past the, uh, connecting hallway. And I saw was my, my high school track coach. And, um, he had asked me if I had saw some other student uh, there and, and what grade they were in. And then I was thinking that he must think I'm a teacher. Then I was unsure if I was a student or a teacher at this school. And then I, and then I felt like I was both. So that's how I know that um, God was telling me that I'm a student teacher. So 
um, I then knew that um, my coach had offered me $41,000 a year to be on the professional track team that he had. And um, I then was walking around talking to some of the other guys that were on the track team and or, or from the track team when I was in high school. And I saw one of my friends and I knew that he had also been offered um, and and he had took the uh, the offer to be on this track team. He had accepted the offer, and um and then I was talking to another friend that I knew had been offered to be um part of this track team, and um he was thinking about whether he should take the uh, offer or not. And then I had, for whatever reason, I had told him that I didn't want to take the offer, or I, was, or I wasn't sure if I was going to take the offer. So then it changed and I was at work and I was um, I was speaking with my supervisor and another employee and my supervisor gave me two documents and, and told me to go deliver them to two people, uh, to, to uh, other employees. So I and I knew I, I had something to do with it. Had, like I, I worked in the mail room or delivering or something like that. So I didn't know how I was supposed to uh, deliver these these uh, documents. And then someone told me that um, there were mailbox that we had mailboxes. So I went over to where the mailboxes were, and I saw one of the guys' uh, mailbox, and I had dropped the document inside. But I didn't see. I didn't notice. Um, or at that point, I noticed that all the employees had their initials on the um, the mailbox. And the first one I used um, initials was FB. And then, um, and then I had uh, went to go find the other guys and his was POS. So I didn't see his mailbox there. So then I went to go find his desk. And I ended up finding his desk, and I saw there were papers of his on top of the desk, and they had his name on it, and a picture, um, his picture, and um, his name, and I noticed his name was very different, and his name, I saw his first name and his last name, but I don't remember his last name, but I remember his first name, and it was, it was Poskew, and it was spelled P O S. Q U E or P O S Q U, and I, I've been trying to look up things that with this, but I haven't found anything. So I'm not really sure if this was if this was like uh, an actual name or if this was like symbolic or what. But but that's what the guy's name was. So so like I was saying, I got a lot out of this dream. Um, mostly the fact that. That I, I've started a new season, and I feel as though many of us have also started a new season, and um, the the whole um, the track team thing. Um, I know that that is refer representing um, the er, God's team of of warriors, his his army, um, because I've I've also. I've had dreams before where the Lord has has um, gave me understanding on this, where He's um, given me a a spot um, as an athlete, um, which is also kind of a a, a warrior, one of God's um, active warriors. So I believe in this new season, He's giving He's He's reinstating me as being. Um, one of his warriors, so I so I might be coming into uh, some dreams of um, battle and warfare again because I haven't had any in a while. So, well, I'll be looking uh, looking ahead to that. But um, and then the fact that I then it's changed and I was um at work and I was delivering these documents to these employees' mailboxes. And I know that refers to um, being used, um, you know, by God to deliver messages 
to uh, people, um, you know, things that God wants to to speak to them or to speak into their life, um, you know, warnings or or uh, healings or um, encouragements, you know, different things that he usually does through, you know, prophetically speaking, um, you know, he uses prophets to to go forth and to speak to people and uh, things like that. So, so I know God is just going to be, um, it, this is going to be a very busy, fruitful uh, season. I believe I'm, there's a lot of work that's going to be done in this season. Um, but a lot of things that are going to come to fruition in, in this season, um, a lot of things that we're going to see victory over that we've been waiting for, doors being open and things like that. So um, I have um, more um, that I want to uh, share with you guys. I'm going to make two other videos um, on, on this uh, new season that God has, has revealed to me. Um, so, so definitely check me out in the next video, next two videos. So God bless you guys. I love you. And I'll talk with you very, very soon.